Hello, I am Dr. Rajaram Reddy. You've been diagnosed with a retinal condition. The video you are about to watch explains about your condition and the risks and benefits of your recommended treatment. Choosing to undergo any form of treatment or surgery can be a difficult decision to make. While some people may experience side effects from the medications or surgery, the risks of side effects should always be balanced with greater risk of leaving your condition untreated, which may include loss of vision. Here at Neeratna Eye Care, we are committed to helping you keep your eyesight. All of us, including myself, Dr. Srinivas, Dr. Alka and Dr. Purushottam, look forward to helping you. Thank you. When you have diabetes, your body does not use or store sugar properly. This can cause changes in the vessels that carry blood throughout your body, including your eyes. These blood vessel changes can damage your eye's retina, harming your vision. This eye disease is called diabetic retinopathy. Your ophthalmologist has chosen to treat your diabetic eye disease with medication injections. This medication can help slow the progression of your diabetic eye disease and may save your remaining sight. To understand how diabetic eye disease affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. With diabetic retinopathy, damaged blood vessels in the retina begin to leak fluids and blood. When this fluid leaks, it can cause the macula to swell or thicken. This is called diabetic macular edema, or DME, and it is the most common cause of vision loss for people with diabetes. Because the macula is responsible for our central or pinpoint vision, macular edema will affect your ability to see clearly. Your ophthalmologist will treat your macular edema with a medication injection called anti-VEGF medication. This medication works by reducing swelling of the macula which helps to slow vision loss or perhaps even improve vision. Your ophthalmologist will determine how many injections you need over a period of time. To prepare for your medication injection, your ophthalmologist will clean your eye to prevent infection and numb your eye with anesthesia to reduce discomfort during the injection. Your pupils may be dilated or widened with dilating eye drops. The anti-VEGF medication is injected into the vitreous, or jelly-like substance, in the center of the eye. You may feel pressure in your eye when the medication is injected. As with any medication or procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with anti-VEGF treatment. These may include eye pain, a bloodshot eye, small specks in your vision called floaters, inflammation or swelling of the eye, retinal detachment, which is when the retina pulls away from the back of the eye, clouding of the lens of the eye, or cataract, increased pressure in the eye, called glaucoma, damage to the retina, cornea, or lens, bleeding, eye infection, vision loss, and the need for more treatment, including medication and surgery. Though it is very rare, it is possible for some people using anti-VEGF medications to have a stroke hemorrhage, or heart attack. Tell your ophthalmologist if you have had a heart attack or stroke in the last few months. Any or all of these complications may decrease your vision or possibly even cause blindness. Additional procedures may be needed to treat these complications. Other forms of treatment may be available for your case of macular edema. These options could include other types of anti-VEGF medication, steroid injection, laser surgery, or medication injections in conjunction with your laser surgery. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose medication injections for your particular course of treatment. You do not have to be treated for your diabetic retinopathy. However, without treatment, diabetic eye disease will likely lead to severe vision loss.
The main goal of treating diabetic eye disease is to prevent further vision loss. Treatment does not cure diabetic retinopathy, but it is often effective in helping you keep your sight. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.